We have to find a way to feed 9 billion people and still preserve the planet. People know food in this country to be cheap and they have a problem with paying more for quality. If we stopped serving meat tomorrow and everyone stopped eating meat tomorrow, it would not solve the problem. It's not that we, as humans, say, oh, what's the most efficient use of resources and now let's all eat that. But we make our food buying decisions based on many different criteria. One of the leading one is, what do we like to eat? Beef consumption here in the U.S. Uh, went from kind of a record high in the 70s. We were consuming on average, every man, woman and child in the United States was consuming roughly 90 pounds of beef. It's diminished over time through the 70s into the 80s. Currently. Average per capita consumption is roughly 65 pounds. The driver of cattle harvesting is for beef and cattle ranching is for beef. So the trend seems not to be um, changing anytime soon in the next five, 10 years, as it hasn't in the last 40, 50 years. Here in America, it is beef centric. Um, like I said, we do live in that cheeseburger world, or the cheeseburger paradise, if you will. My name is Michael Friedman. I am the chef and owner of The Red Hen here in Washington, D.C. The Red Hen opened up uh, 10 years ago, and the goal was to provide uh, a great neighborhood restaurant, great food, great ambiance, great hospitality, and kind of approachable cuisine uh, that we've rooted in Italian tradition. Our meat comes from a mixture of local and kind of domestic. We really look toward making sure that we buy really great sourced meats that are raised humanely, that are raised on a grass-fed diet, that are have open air to breathe and walk, um, and that are treated well. We do think that when you have that kind of product, it tastes better, it feels better serving, and there's a story behind it. Uh, there's definitely been a shift in, in, in understanding um, procurement and uh, much more engagement with where the food comes from and the wine comes from and everything like that. And also I think there has been an interesting shift in the way people eat. There's a double-edged sword to going to farmers markets, right? They're um, incredibly sustainable for the local market, uh, but they are expensive. Um, and not everybody can afford to go every Sunday to the farmer's market and buy chicken or beef or pork at 18, 22, 24 dollars a pound. People know food in this country to be cheap and they have a problem with paying more for quality. The consumer has, I liken him to the Tyrannosaurus Rex, right? That great big dinosaur, got a great big mouth. They love to tell you everything that they want, but when it comes to paying for the product, they got this little bit of hand that can't quite reach into their wallet to grab it. So, I, you know, I, I think we, we, need to be, we need to be mindful that as we go down these paths of sustainability and trying to one-up one another in terms of, well, my cattle never left the ranch, they've grown here, I bring a mobile slaughter unit out, and that meat then stays in my, in my possession and I market it at a, at a, um, at a farmer's market. That is a very inefficient means of producing beef. We have to find a way to feed 9 billion people and still preserve the planet. That's, that's the reality. And one of the alternatives is to, it, probably the, the only alternative, is to increase productivity, produce more using less. We chose a, a leather bar, uh, an orange stained leather bar for the Red Hen. I feel like leather was always part of kind of the American landscape and certainly for me growing up in New York and around New York as a, as a child and my father was from the Bronx, I mean he wore a leather jacket. One of the most important thing for us um, in opening Lighthouse was being a part of a healthy food system. 
I mean, if we stop serving meat tomorrow and everyone stopped eating meat tomorrow, it would not so solve the problem. And we'll have an industry that would lose a lot of employees. We will have all these sub-industries that would also collapse. Um, lots of animals eat really nice grains. And so we're looking at this, uh, at, at this domino impact that I don't think people that are attacking the meat industry really understand um, that can follow. And so, again, the, the better solution is just uh, sourcing good products, local products that travel very little, that, um, that have a lot of transparency behind them where you can see um, what the impact is and, 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 and constantly making it better, right? Rather than eradicating something, let's look at how we can make something um, more environmentally friendly. I think that people need to think about how much beef we eat in America and then think about the skin of every cattle. And if you're a smart farmer, or if you're a smart business owner, you're gonna to try to utilize every part of your product. And that is a byproduct of eating meat.